Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the, the Midland Hotel, the final press conference for Rock and Crow. I must tell you that uh, Gavin Reese is not here today. He's uh, got family commitments, picking up his daughter. So I've excused him from the press conference. He'll be up tomorrow morning for the weigh-in. So we're, we're Manchester's uh, bound here, and Manchester's favourites. Just to introduce the table, down the bottom, uh, William Prado, who's going to be fighting Scott Quigg this Saturday. Joe Gallagher, obviously, taking photos of, of the table and filming the press conference himself. <laughs> Watch out, food. Um, to his left, Paul Smith, chief support on Saturday night, taking on Tony Dodson. Anthony Crawler, taking on Gavin Reese. Scott Quigg, returning to the ring, um, facing William Prado. Brian Rose, going to be fighting Alex Rubchev on Saturday, and Tony Dodson, who's fighting Paul Smith um, on Saturday night. Uh, really can't wait for this one, you know, obviously we were looking to bring the David Hay manual char fight here for, for the same date and that got put through and um, basically, you know, we, we had a contingency plan which was to put this show together. I wanted to save Reese against Crawler um, and also, you're right, Joe? Give me, a, give me a second, to, you know, all I can hear is you in my Sorry. <laughs> you know, this is important, Joe. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, and obviously we've got Reese against Crow. Delighted when we got Dodson against Smith as well. I think it's a fantastic fight. And, and really the icing on the cake as well as having Brian Rose back very quickly in a 10 rounder is, is having our new signing Scott Quigg um, ready to be unleashed on Saturday night. The, the look in his eye. And I know how keen he is to get back. Obviously we've got that big WBA world title fight coming up which we're uh, going through the motions making that now for the, for the autumn. So, but first things first, get through Saturday night. Um, and have a decent performance and then move on to that world title shot. So I'm um, just going to ask uh, down the table a few words before we, uh, it's not going to be a long one today, we're going to have one-on-ones and photos etc. But Joe, again, big night for you, three fighters, not Joe Falls, Joe Gallagher. Yeah, no, definitely can't wait for it. Training camp's gone really well for three lads. Um, it's been a pleasure to train all three of them. And I think they'll tell you themselves it's been, a, I wouldn't say an easy camp, but it's been a more enjoyable camp the three of them running together, training together, working together, swimming together, and like you say, um, they've trained together and they got a win together on Saturday night. Um, Scott Quigg, um, Eddie touched on it there, he's got the eye of the tiger about him at the moment, he's like uh, the Mr T, he's uh, angry and ready to unleash some fury on Saturday night and I'm so excited because British boxing has been denied the last seven months. There's a lot of people out there talking and a lot of pretenders out there, but Scott Quigg's the real deal and I can't wait to everybody to see that Saturday night. Anthony Crawler, Mr Box Office in Manchester himself, he's Manchester's most exciting fighter at the moment, he's never in a dull fight and I think the fight with Gavin Rees has got to be another contender for fight of the year but I think Anthony will be going to another um, uh, another poll this year as the upset of the year because I do feel Anthony Crawler has got to pull the upset of the year off on Saturday night. Training's going very well, sparring's going well, we've got a great game plan and uh, Crawler's ready to rock and roll Saturday night. Paul Smith, I've always said Paul Smith, there's always one big performance left in him um, and I think he has got that on Saturday night, he was unfortunate with George Groves, George Groves could throw that punch a million times and wouldn't have landed so good and then um, it was a freak of a shot, Paul's come back well, he showed great discipline, stayed in the gym, then other questions desire, this is a kid here that travels from Liverpool every day to Manchester, to Bolton, even to do the big runs on a Sunday morning, at that age of the career to show that one desire and need is something else and uh, I know Tony Dodson's trained really well, he's gone back to an old coach of his, John Rice, who I uh, respect, um, a great trainer in the amateur game and I know they got a come uh, with their A game and I think the first fight didn't live up to what it should have been and I do feel this fight Saturday night will produce what should have happened in the first fight, I see an exciting fight or possibly the fight of the night and uh, I'm really looking forward to it and uh, hopefully it'll be uh, a case of three wins out of three uh, with the triple hitters. Um, I've not known a coach who can speak that well. Like I said to you, when you retire, you can be a promoter as well. I think. Paul, um, big fight for you. This obviously, you know, I'm, I've known, I know both fighters very well, and I'm not involved on in the promotional side. So I can't wait to sit back and just watch this one. A lot of local pride at stake. Both sold a lot of tickets. Um, ready to go. Yeah, definitely. Um, not much else I can say after that. Isn't it? I can't follow that. You know, everything's gone great. The training's gone brilliant. Um, you know, again, just just repeating what Joe said. I just I need to get back in there. I can't wait to get back in there and show what I can do and, and perform. And you know, it'll be, be good to be showcasing on, on Sky Sports again and, and having people actually sitting up and watching and being able to see the fight. Um, I'm just only to get me belt back and, and, 
How much does having fought him before come into it tactically? I mean, is it? I, I don't know. You know, I, I know what I've got. I know, I know I've got people around it. So the fact that we fought before has proved that. Um, you know, we can talk about the last fight, but this is three years later. I think we've both changed since then. And I think, I think as we see a different fight and a more open fight and a better fight on Saturday night. Tony, I think big it, one for you. Yeah, it's a massive fight. It's the um, most important to my career. Me. My whole career is on the line, um, you know what's at stake. It's given me more, more incentive to want to get the win because obviously you got the win over me last time. I mean, <coughs> the pair of us prepared perfect. I've got no excuses. I'm a totally different fighter from what I was, what I was last time. I've got no weight issues. I'll get my scales now. I'll be probably under the championship weight right now. And I feel strong with the weight that I have done for the last five or six weeks. Um, so the, the time and the delays and all that. You know, we just use that to, to get right all the wrong things in my life and all the wrong things I was doing in the ring. And you know, it's time to showcase this Saturday night. You know, we the best man win. Good stuff, thank you. And, and Brian, quickly, I know we, we were back out in a 10 rounder before that big fight we talked about in September. Manchester looks like it could be a new home for you. Yeah. Sold a lot of tickets, obviously, you're living down in there. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I've probably sold more tickets here than I did in Blackpool, which um, I've, I've always had great support in Manchester. Um, so Bolton's halfway between, but I'm looking forward to Saturday night. Um, no pressure on me this time. You know, I'm going to relax and try a, a few new things that I've been trying in the gym. You know, moving my feet a lot more now. Um, so come September, I'll be a much improved fighter still, because I'm learning all the time. I'm, I'm not a perfect fighter, uh, and I know that. And the stuff me and Bobby work on every time we're in the gym. So I'm going to work on them, and then I'll be an even better fighter come September. And Scott, finally, I haven't seen you stop smiling today. It's nearly here, it's nearly here. <laughs> nearly time. Oh, I've, I've, everyone knows I've been out of the ring for so long and I just can't wait for Saturday night. And it's going, I've got a tough opponent in William Prado. He's going to come, come to win. And it's one of them. I'm just looking forward to it. I'm going to do the job. I've always liked Scott, but having seen how many tickets he sold in 10 days, <laughs> I like him. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You've got a lot of support down here. And, uh, you know, personally, I can't wait for you to get through Saturday night and then we're going to have massive plans for the new season. So, um, just to let everyone know the, the, the schedule for Saturday night, we're going to kick off the night with Dale Evans, the, the welterweight who you would, would have seen in the final of a uh, prize fighter. Um, then Eric Ocheng, he's fighting. Um, he's going to be challenging Liam Smith after this fight for the British light middleweight title, Brian's old belt. So, he's out on Saturday. Uh, Tom Stalker, he's in action as well, um, another Liverpudlian, so he's, he, he's brought down a, a load as well. Um, and then we go on to the TV schedule from 8 o'clock. Um, we're ki kicking off with Scott Quigg against William Prado. Then we have Brian Roses on against Alex Rubchev. And then um, Paul Smith against Tony Dodson. And then Wadi Camacho is floating from there. And then it's Crawler versus Reese after that. Every fight will be shown on Sky Sports on Saturday night. After the live fights, every other fight on the bill will also be show, showed immediately after. And then Sky Sports will be out in America for Macklin against Golovkin straight after. So a mouth-watering night, I think it's about nine hours live um, in total throughout the night. So it's a big night. It's a big card. I'm really excited. Can't wait to get there. I wish everybody the best of luck. Um, you must have paid Crawler there, eh? Crawler? Well, I thought you'd done all the stuff. No, no, right, no. I was just building up to no, it. Right, no, yeah. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Chris, Gavin, Chris Gavin's not here, I felt bad, you know. No, no, no. It's a bit awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, there's not much to say that hasn't already been said, other than, well, I'm just going to repeat myself. But um, no, the training's gone fantastic, and um, it's great to be fighting um, a world class fighter like Gavin, and the support on there, there's going to be a great atmosphere in there on Saturday night. and. I'm confident, like I say, I'm very confident I've got a style to beat Gavin. I'm just excited, ready to rock and crawl, as you say. And um, I could tell everyone here that obviously we announced yesterday Burns will fight Beltran on September the 7th, but a victory for either man will potentially lead to a, a shot against Burns in November. And funnily enough, a victory for Anthony Crawler would definitely more likely lead to that shot because a victory over Gavin Reese would put him definitely in line for that world title shot. And... Uh, you know, massive incentive for both guys, but actually probably definitely Anthony because 
you know, to overcome Gavin Rees, we'd put him bang in line for that shot against Burns. So, virtually a world title eliminator, top of the bill. So, we're going to have um, head to head with um, Scott Quigg and William Prado and Paul Smith and Tony Dodson. And everyone's available for one, one on ones. And um, we'll see you Saturday night. And just be, don't forget the Wayne tomorrow, one o'clock at the Print Works. Tell everybody about that. Come down. And um, Joe's going to buy everyone beers, apparently. So, I mean, it's very, very. Uh, of all the commission he's making on Saturday night for all these fighters, you know, it's, it's uh, Eddie Hearn in association with Joe Gallagher. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. See you Saturday. Cheers. <laughs>